Good morning. I trust all of you are keeping yourself safe during this pandemic. Myself, Dr. Shiraj, is a faculty in the Department of Audiology at the All India Institute of Speech and Hearing, Mysuru. Today I am here to throw some light on the phenomenon that most of us have experienced at least once in our lifetime. We are all familiar with the sounds like ringing or buzzing in the ears called as tinnitus. Tinnitus arises in the absence of any sound stimulation and is generally considered to be present in the head of the individual. Tinnitus is generally present in 20 out of every 100 individuals and is considered as bothersome in a few. Most of the individuals have minimal to mild category of tinnitus and they do not have any lifestyle related problems. Tinnitus is considered to be caused due to a variety of reasons related to the head and neck functioning. However, most common causes of tinnitus include age related changes that can happen in the auditory system and also noise exposure. If an individual gets exposed to high levels of noise for prolonged periods, there is a high chance of developing tinnitus. Tinnitus is generated when there is a damage of hair cells or the nerves related to the heart rate system. When there is a reduction in the output to the brain due to these damages, the brain maladapts and produces ringing or buzzing kind of sensation called as tinnitus. Tinnitus is also seen due to hidden hearing loss which is not evident in routine hearing evaluation. Tinnitus is not a disease by itself. Tinnitus is generally associated with some pathophysiological changes that can happen in the body. If tinnitus is associated with headache, vomiting sensations, giddiness or is associated with difficulty in understanding conversation in the presence of noise and immediate medical attention should be sought. In the case of continuous or bothersome tinnitus, it is advisable to consult an audiologist or an ENT specialist who specializes in the assessment and management of such conditions. It is important that the underlying cause for the generation of tinnitus is identified and treated to avoid complications. It is also to be kept in mind that if tinnitus is associated with sudden hearing loss, it is important to make an immediate consultation to the specialist. Treatment of tinnitus depends on the pathophysiology. It is important to identify the source of generation of tinnitus and to treat the cause. Audiologist plays a major role in the assessment of tinnitus. Audiologist, through a series of tests, assess the individual's hearing status and tries to find the pathophysiological cause behind the generation. Upon the identification of the cause, audiologist uses management strategies that involves noise, music and the principles of tinnitus retraining therapy and manages these individuals. These kinds of management options have a success rate of about 90%. Individuals who experience tinnitus with no associated symptoms can try using sound enrichment. This is a strategy by which individuals can play music or noise of their choice through music players or mobile phones. This is especially useful in those individuals who find difficult to fall asleep due to tinnitus in their ears. The usage of headphones or the earphones for prolonged periods need to be avoided. The headphones can produce an energy level of around 115 decibels which can cause considerable hair cell damage. This can be one of the reasons for the generation of tinnitus. Stop using earbuds. If earbuds are used, it causes the wax to be pushed closer to the tympanic membrane and the accumulation of the wax on the tympanic membrane can cause the generation of tinnitus. It is encouraged to use ear protective devices like earplugs or earmuff for those individuals who are working in the presence of loud noises. Avoid stress. Stress is considered to be one of the most important psychological factor that can lead to generation of tinnitus. Keep yourself fit. It is important that there is proper blood circulation to all the structures of the body including the hearing system. If there is a reduction in the blood supply, there is high chances of cell damage which can cause tinnitus. If you are experiencing bothersome or continuous tinnitus, it is important to visit a specialist at the earliest.